Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. Today, we're back doing some POV street photography, specifically a rainy day POV street photography, because it finally started pouring here in LA, and sadly, it only lasted about 24 hours because at the time of this recording, uh, it's uh, it's it's not raining. It's it's super cold, but it's not raining. Um, which is kind of a disappointment, but we got some good footage. Uh, my buddy Manny joined me, joined me again uh, to do some POV shots with his X100F, and the guy has uh, big cojones because the X100F isn't weather sealed, and he was just using it in the rain like he didn't give a shit, so it's pretty badass. Um, not a whole lot going on right now in this area. We parked on the street over here because A, it's $6 to park for four hours, which is actually really good in downtown LA. And B, we wanted to go to the business district because um, Manny really wants to shoot similar photos to like the kind that you would see in New York with people in business suits and whatnot. So this is kind of like a straight line down um, Figueroa down to uh, the like very business districty. And with this shot, I got really lucky with this shot because I saw the lady walking and just like just framed up perfectly. Also, her doggy had uh, booties, uh, little shoes for the dogs. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, this shot right here, I really like how Manny looks with the skyscrapers in the background. Uh, so I just took a cool portrait. Didn't really like where he was at, so I had to move. And uh, I got this shot. It looks pretty cool. Very touristy with the umbrella and the X100F. Um, but I don't know. There's something about Fuji cameras that are really fun to, to just, they made them really fun to use. And I still want a, either X 100 F or a hundred V, um, whatever deals I could find for either, or most likely the hundred F because it is the cheaper camera. And for this shot right here, I actually waited a good, maybe a couple minutes. I saw a guy walking up towards the, um, towards the ramp but he actually ended up going to the parking structure underneath this um like walk ramp thingamajig and uh i was just telling manny like you get some really good leading lines here and with the 90 millimeter it just looks freaking awesome at a 137 millimeter full frame equivalent and i just was about to give up on the shot and i just see somebody like on the corner just walking towards the center of this frame and i just waited had my focus point and everything locked in. I was very thankful that the bus didn't ruin my shot and I got the shot and it looks pretty freaking cool. I love it. And especially with just the reflections from the wet floor, awesome. Um, but yeah, not a lot of whole bunch of people on this side. Um, I forgot why I was going over here. I think I saw a shot earlier that I wanted to shoot through the railings, but I didn't see any people. And I saw some people down below um, in the uh, I guess it's like the outdoor seating area that I guess they would use to have uh, people eat lunch and whatnot. And I saw some people walking into the building and I just kind of like framed them up between the bushes. It looks really cool. Again, I like that the floor is wet. It kind of gives it this aesthetic um, that you would only find during rainy day shots. Uh, for this shot right here, I actually just um, wanted to shoot this guy because i'm still blown away that the 90 millimeter is able to focus at 1.97 feet which is actually really close focusing for 137 millimeter full frame equivalent i think the um ef canon 135 f2 i think has i think a two almost three foot minimum focusing distance uh for this shot here manny actually helped put in uh escalators in this building uh, unfortunately we couldn't go in because he wanted to show me uh, just because obviously because of COVID and everything going on, they closed down the, the lobby of the building, but got some cool architecture shots of the building and it looks pretty good. This one right here of the, um, this, this building here in downtown LA is iconic. You see the US Bank Tower, you know you're in downtown LA. And it, at the time that was the, one of the tallest buildings in the skyline here in LA, but that was superseded by the, um, building that was in the previous shot that Manny put the escalator in, which is pretty cool. Uh, for this shot right here, I was waiting for the guy to turn or do something, um, you know, just to kind of give it a, something, some sort of vibe or anything. Uh, Cause I just didn't want him just look, standing there looking like he wasn't doing anything. And I saw him kind of like spin around and I just got a good shot of him. Um, you can't see it on camera, but there was a tractor coming up cause I guess they were doing um, 
I, I forgot what they were installing. I think they were installing like some plates that you could drive over because uh, they were doing construction on the road. Um, this shot coming up, I saw the gentleman with the bags walking right next to the uh, glass, and I just took a quick shot, try to get some sort of reflective leading line shot. And I like it. I feel like it was a little too tight. Uh, it's the problem doing kind of close focusing shots with the 137 mil full frame equivalent because you don't have a lot of room uh, unless you back up. But then if you back up, you don't get the frame that you want. So kind of like pros and cons. But I love using this lens just because, especially with, like I said, with what's going on right now, staying away from people is nice. And um, I still think this is probably one of Fuji's best lenses. Just the quad linear motors make everything super fast to focus. I like this shot with the alley. And, and this is just the kind of perspective that you could get with 137 mil. Manny had the X100F with 35 millimeter equivalent. Uh, so he had to get really close to people or get a nice wide shot for context. I get really, really tight focusing um, subject shots like this one of the gentleman behind the scooters kind of walking, doing his own thing. And Manny actually pointed that shot out because he's like, dude, you have a lens that could like get it. Uh, so definitely go for it. And I was like, all right, getting the umbrella ready, ready because uh, we started getting some raindrops uh, you can see on the camera here. Thank goodness for weather sealing because the camera got soaked, as you will see later in the video. Uh, I'm just kind of cleaning it up because I don't want stuff to just stain my glass or my, you know, LCD panel. I'm tired. I've, I've been editing a lot of videos for TikTok because I'm trying to get on that now. Um, I love this shot right here. I just love the colors I got out of it. The orange tones, the blues and everything just pop. I actually might make a print of that photo. Um, I'm a little bummed that the guy walking through wasn't in focus. Um, and that's kind of the thing I noticed with the 90 mil, like it was, it either kind of like grabs focus instantaneously or kind of misses and then kind of grabs it after. Uh, the reason we stopped actually over by that, um, liquor store is cause we were on camera while we walked by. So you could see, you could actually see yourself on the sidewalk. So Manny took a picture of that. We went down this alley. Got this cool shot of Manny just because, I mean, it, it just looks very badass and mysterious. And you see the forklift in the background and everything. It looks really cool. I love the graffiti and the textures that we got here. Well, rather, I should say Manny because he had a wider lens than I did. So I couldn't really get a lot of the detail shots or context shots, I should say, because, you know, 35 is really good for context. I didn't like that shot of the forklift, but I do like this one a lot better. Just, you know kind of gives you a sense of where you're at you're in an alley there's some sort of construction going on i love the red of that wall or whatever that was in the background it just looks awesome and as you can tell here it's starting to pour and uh we got wet and it was fun thank goodness that we had umbrellas because i did not expect it to to rain as hard as it did but you know i had a I had a raincoat, I had an umbrella, my camera was weather sealed, I had my like weather sealed boots, or I should say rain boots, because, you know, but weather sealing sounds cool. Um, I forget where we're going here. Uh, for this shot, oh yeah, the gentleman waiting for the bus, you see the bus is kind of pulling up. Again, the focus wasn't really on the actual subject, it was kind of past him and I, I don't know if it was because the the lens was starting to get wet and there was some stuff sitting on the on the actual like element or I should say the the filter I have on it or what was going on but it's all good uh for this shot right here I like the way this lady was standing just kind of like you know standing proud with her legs kind of like spread like if she looks she was gonna go walk or something with the umbrella and everything it looks really good um over here, we're making our way back to, I believe this was Broadway. I'm not too familiar with the street names. I just kind of just walk around in a circle, take pictures, and call it a day. Uh, for this shot, I like this guy's uh, pants because, I mean, look at it. It's pretty cool. Like, wide shoes and checkered pants. It's pretty badass. Um, over here, what were, what were we doing? I think, oh, now I remember. I was playing around with my camera. I was trying to adjust something because uh, 
changing like your aperture and ISO with an umbrella in hand, it's kind of hard. And I like this shot of the construction worker. I thought this shot was a little too busy because of the people walking in the background. I had another one where it was just him, but I kind of like the contrast of the orange vest with the blue umbrella. Uh, for this shot right here, I get the gentleman walking up to the crosswalk and you see the bus kind of lighting them and i just love the red of the backpack that kind of works with the red of the ambulances i also don't know what was going on we didn't go see because you know that's not cool uh to photograph stuff like that um and i just hope no one was hurt uh over here it's it's pouring you could probably see it on the gopro footage it, it it's coming down pretty good and uh at this point we're considering just bailing and heading back to the car uh, cause it, it was getting pretty bad and man, he had to kind of like adjust his, uh, the way he was holding the camera, put it a little closer up to him. So the umbrella would shield it better. And I was kind of like holding my camera like a Tyrannosaurus. Um, cause I, I didn't want my camera to get soaked. It's weather sealed, but at the same time, there's always that possibility that things might fail and I just don't want to risk it, especially with, you know, expensive equipment. Although that's kind of why I bought it because it's weather sealed and I and I do trust the weather seals, but obviously in a slightly lighter raining conditions. Um, uh, but it survived. The camera still turns on. Everything's good. I checked it. I made sure to dry it when I got in the car and uh, you know checked to see if it was fully dry when I got home. Cleaned it up a bit, but it looks good. Still works. That's the important thing. And Manny's camera still works because it's not weather sealed. Um, that's kind of why I'm leaning more towards the X100V over the F, even though the F, I could, I've seen it go for about 700 bucks online. And while the V is expensive, uh, and I know Fuji doesn't flat out say how weather sealed it is, just knowing that it is to some degree weather sealed uh, kind of gives me peace of mind. For this shot, I ran up over here to get this guy because he was throwing some, I think it was hoses or something in the back of the car of the truck I'd rather and it just looks really cool with the rain falling the car driving by and everything uh, at this point we're making our way back to the car because it is pouring and I see a really cool uh, I think it was a Plymouth I think yeah I think it was a Plymouth car um, really bright orange really beautiful car classic uh, just kind of parallel parking so I got a shot of that and as we're walking just I, I don't know if there was a car meetup or something, but I see this badass looking bumblebee colored Volkswagen Be Volkswagen Beetle. And I just, you know, I mean, I think everybody watched Transformers when they were a kid and just instantly think of Bumblebee. So I got Bumblebee on camera. There's the proof. Transformers are real. Fight me. And um, with that said, we're at the end of the video because it was pouring. And the cool thing about where we parked is we could actually take this tunnel that was going to take us straight back to where we parked. So we actually were able to avoid most of the uh, rain because uh, it, it got pretty bad. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, double tap the down button or the thumbs down button twice. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already part of the... I, I don't even know what squad. I, I want to say camera squad, Fuji squad. I'll figure out what kind of squad to come up with. Street squad? No, that doesn't sound cool. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs> What's up, man? What are you rocking today? 6D? 6D. Yeah. Nice. Fuji XC, or oh, sorry, X Pro 2 with the 90 mil and he's got the 100 uh, F. Okay. David. David, David, I just started following your YouTube, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm the one that gave you the comment. Uh, are they coming up with a swimmer for the 62 Mark II? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, man. Small world. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool, man. But yeah, oh, you do POV too? Yeah, I just Which started like uh, the middle of 2019. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just started like last late last year just because oh, i've been seeing them pop up on youtube man, your work is pretty cool thanks man appreciate right, it man, I, hope I, <laughs> I really said that in my mind yeah let's let, let's take a picture okay oh, okay yeah. i've seen him too in the videos hey man this guy's this guy's legendary yeah. One, two, three.